what's up guys welcome back to another vlog today we are going to be talking about how to travel part-time and that's even if you have a full-time job remotely or non-remotely so stay tuned for the top three things you can do to just travel and experience a new culture almost maybe every month so before we get started, I need to know three things from you. Do you have a car? Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a backpack? Now, if you said yes to all those things, road trip. That is the number one way to travel and see the world. A road trip. Now, I know it sounds crazy, for those of us who are like, is it really traveling if you're really only going like an hour away? Yes. Yes, it is. Because an hour away is a totally different city, a totally different place with totally different people from the people you get to interact with every day in the city that you live in. So yes, it is considered traveling. And yes, it is considered experiencing a different culture because it is a different place. That's the number one way to start traveling part-time. Just go on a day road trip. Maybe on a Saturday, you and your family get in a car and you go. Or you go by yourself and you go and experience a new city. And you get to experience their like norms by going to their coffee shops and seeing what people do. Or maybe you go during a time of a festival and you get to see one of the little things that they enjoy doing and that... Maybe a couple of the different parts of that culture you would want to cultivate into your own life. You just never know what you experience when you go just one hour away to a different city. So I definitely highly recommend road trips. And that is one thing that you could possibly do once a month. Go down the street for a day. You don't have to spend as much. You don't even have to stay the night. And for the ones that you want to do longer road trips, you know, you plan those out more. So that is one way to do part-time travel. Number two, you don't even have to leave your city. You don't even have to leave your house. Simple, food. So if you have food at home in your refrigerator and you look up a recipe online from France or Germany or Switzerland, or Portugal, or Ghana, or Nigeria, anywhere. And you create that dish at home. First of all, you see how much work it does go into making all of these dishes. And if you can eat their, their main dish in that country, try it. See if you like it. Obviously, you probably won't make it the same way as they do, but it gives you an idea of how the food will taste when you go. And it gives you an idea of the heart of their culture, of the different things they do and how they cook and the smells. It just gives you, a, it puts it in your mind, the beauty that it would be being in the kitchen if you were in that country. And if you don't like to cook or you don't really cook much, then go out to a restaurant. Maybe there's a restaurant in your area where the chef is from that country and you can have a conversation with them and talk about how their culture influenced them or maybe the chef isn't from that place and you can talk to them about how the culture has influenced them to open this, this beautiful restaurant where you live and you get to talk about the experience and really honestly experience the culture secondhand and it might even influence you to go to that culture in person so that's another way to travel without even leaving your own backyard the third way is this travel make it a priority maybe you want to do three trips with your family a year so do it but you have to make sure you prioritize and you have to make sure you budget for it. So when the time comes, you can do everything that you want to do with either by yourself or with your family or with your friends. Whatever it may be, just make sure that you have the budget for it. Because 
I know that is one of the biggest reasons why a lot of us don't travel, but if you make it something that's a priority to you because you want to experience the cultures of this world and share that with others around you, then make it one and make sure you have the money to do so. But that's it for me, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys go out and travel more because it is such a beautiful world out there and there's so many beautiful people that we don't get to come in contact contact with every day and you never know you might make a new friend a new best friend maybe you meet the one while you're out traveling you just never know until you start traveling so get out and go do it go enjoy life a little bit more while learning a little bit more about the people around you i love you guys and hope you enjoyed this video once again and i'll see you brats in the next one in the next journey excuse me peace